Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to connect up your Xbox Series X or your Xbox Series S controller which is also known as the Xbox Wireless Controller now, Microsoft is very confusing with their naming, to your Windows machine to use it on the CXBX Reloaded Emulator. So we're using a fourth generation Xbox controller, connecting it to Windows to play first generation Xbox games via emulation. Okay, so to do this you have two options. First option, which is the simplest, you use a USB Type-C cable, and on the other end can be either USB Type-A or USB Type-C, depending on what your computer supports in terms of ports. Plug and play, you're all good to go. The other option is Bluetooth. It's not complex, you just gotta make sure you have Bluetooth and we need to sync the controller up. So plug and play for the wire, just plug it in and you skip, skip to the CXBX part where we set it up. So if I open up game, set up USB game controllers, if I were to plug it in, you would see your controller appear here. If you want to use Bluetooth, it's obviously a bit better, you can move your controller around. Obviously no motion, but I'm just saying it's just, it's, it's better. Okay, if I type in Bluetooth or the devices, and first of all, you need to put this into sync mode. One second. Also, make sure you have Bluetooth. If you don't and you go here and you click Bluetooth, it'll let you know. You can get a cheap dongle off Amazon or eBay for a few quid, a few dollars. That's what I've got and that suffices. So you wanna press this sync button right here. Keep this press and the Xbox button will start flashing very fast. That's in sync mode now. Go to Bluetooth. The controller will appear right here, click that. Now that the light has gone solid, it is now working. If I go to game controllers, it's appeared right here. It's appeared a six axis, 16 button gamepad with hat switch. And if I go to properties, as you can see, all the buttons are detected, except for one, which is the share button. The reason for that is because it's actually picking it up as an Xbox One controller. And if you remember, the Xbox One controller never actually had this in there. If you was to plug this in via a cable instead of the Bluetooth option, you would get this basically here, but you would say Xbox One controller most likely. But apart from that, you're all good to go if you want to, you know, unsync, you just click that, remove device. And if I now open up, did I just launch up a game? I did, didn't I? Did not mean to do that. I need to close this down. Bear with me. End task. Okay. Problem averted. Open up CXBX Reloaded Emulator. Go to Settings, Config, Input, and configure it for port 1, 2, 3, or 4. You can emulate the Duke or the S. I'll just do the Duke, the OG, so the configure. And what we're going to do is create a new profile. I'm going to call this Xbox Series X. And now you just select it from here and the X input should be all good. So if I click on that and I press A, as you can see, it detects it. If not, just select that one. And now, we, so I just did A for A. For, I'm going to do B for B. Obviously, you can mix and match it however you want. You can map the D-pad over to the face buttons or the left, the left analog stick over to the face buttons, whatever you want. B... X, Y, and now black and white. The original, you know, controllers had this black and white button. So what I would say is just map it to R1 and L1 because the original game, you know, Xbox controller did not have, you know, or, you know, say R1 and L1, you know, LB and RB because they only had triggers. So that's what I would generally do. That's what I, as you can see, have done in the past. And now for the back and start buttons, just do the, you know, like this option button, start and back. Now for the left stick, which is this right here. So if I was to do it down, it'd be minus Y down. because so I've already you know, synced this up for something else, hence why it's pretty similar. L click is just that there, or also known as L3 if you're coming from more of a PlayStation background. And up down, left, 
right and click this in and now the d-pad uh, make sure I did it properly left and now the triggers I just leave right here so this is left this is right and that's it if I go to save it and that's it and obviously if I was to go back you can see all the different configurations that I've created and you can select that particular one especially if you do it slightly differently now we can actually just you know launch up a game so I'm going to launch up Shrek start turn the volume down Also, want to say this, you know, video, this tutorial is not condoning piracy. This is for educational purposes, you know, all of that jazz. Okay, so we use that to skip using the A button. Uh, do, 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 do. When we get here, we can move up or down. We can select B to go back. That's it. It's that simple to connect up your Xbox Series X, Series S, what they call the Xbox Wireless Controller to your Windows machine for the CXPX Reloaded Emulator. If you had gone down the route of plugging this in, you would have skipped the Bluetooth you know, connection part and gone straight to the CXPX Reloaded you know, mapping section. So that's it. If you have any questions, as usual, feel free to pop me a message. There'll be a link in the description to my website, to the Discord channel, where we've almost got a thousand members and the community, there's always like about 30 people online. So even if I can't respond, that's probably the best place to honestly post stuff than the description almost i mean than the comments for the simple reason there's so many people all you know always on the discord channel and that's growing every day and there's always gonna be something there to help so that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video